good afternoon. Uh, see you again. Today is day four or day three. We have uh, gone so far on this uh, Servlet and JSP tutorial. Okay, and uh, today I will finish everything about our own web container. That's my plan. Okay. But if I get tired, I probably will stop. <laughs> so the first video of uh, today, uh, we uh, um, do the init method. And uh, this is to ex kind of like mimic the life cycle happened in web container like a Tomcat, real Tomcat. Okay. And here in our own web container, we just uh, uh, trying to uh, do uh, mimic the entire life cycle of server that happened in web container, but uh, the actual implementation different. Okay, so this step we will uh, make sure the init method is being called uh, before we heading to uh, implement. I want to summarize. The life cycle of a servlet we have done so far. So later on, when we add a step, we just uh, keep adding uh, on our notes. Okay, so let's go to one note. Yeah, one note is not here. Where's my one note? So uh, a servlet life cycle. Ha starts when we deploy the our application into Tomcat, right? And uh, uh, after Tomcat load the class, right? After load the data classes, okay? Then it will try to create an instance. That's also what we have done, like create uh, Instance, right? Which is uh, we can say which the, this step we can say is called what uh, instantiation. Which uh, how create instance at runtime using reflection API, which is using class dot phone name, right? And here uh, we're using the latest API, which is using to get declared constructor. The old one we're just using a uh, new instance, but that one is uh, deprecated in uh, uh, Java 9. Constructor, right? A constructor, then dot uh, new instance. So we we'll use this one, and uh, <coughs> this step uh, is uh, what we are doing is uh, not uh, is a little bit different from uh, Tomcat. This is uh, what we are doing, like uh, 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 which means after this case is after our uh, container is uh, app, we will load load all servlets or create all servlets or, or load all servlets uh, when uh, container starts right this is what we did which is after it starts we will read the configuration file then instantiate all the uh, servlets right but uh, in tomcat it did a little bit different tomcat have two ways Tomcat has two ways. The first way is the is a def default one. Default one, default default case is when the first time the request uh, goes to a servlet, then Tomcat. We are instantiate. Like this, okay. Which means this is the default case. So when uh, when the web uh, time starts up, 
it doesn't load any, it doesn't create any instance of the servlet. Doesn't. Only the first request goes to the servlet, then Tomcat will instantiate. Okay, this is the default case. And the second one, you can config. You can configure is uh, to load the servlets when the container starts. Which do you remember there's a um, configuration called the load on startup. The, the, this attribute, default value is minus one. Minus one means it doesn't load when the application, the, when Tomcat cat start. And you can set the value to be like a zero, one, and two. And the uh, lower number will have a higher priority on startup. This is how Tomcat works on this step. So the first step of a life cycle is to create instance, right? And uh, Remember, the servlet inside the uh, Tomcat or in the web container, only one instance, okay? Only one, only one. So next step is called init method, okay? This method is in, uh, if I remember correctly, is in generic servlet, in the real servlet API. And uh, here we put in our, in our case, we just put in HTTP servlet. Okay, and uh, this init method is uh, called right after the instance is being uh, uh, created. And this method is called only once for the entire life cycle of a servlet, only once, okay? And uh, in Tomcat, uh, oh, in another Tomcat, in a real servlet API, oh, sorry, let me remove. Let me remove. Okay. Can I do this? Okay. I cannot remove. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Uh, in real servlet API specification, okay, or, or spec, real, okay. The init method will have a servlet config passed to passed in. But for our implementation, I will not uh, do that. The servlet config, you can do, you can access some uh, uh, initialization parameters for particular servlet. And uh, if we want to mimic, we will, ju we will just to, sorry, sorry. If we want, we needed to do that. We it's still achievable. We can have another properties files to do the same thing. But here, uh, I don't want to do. Okay. So for our uh, init method in our implementation, we just have a init method without any parameter. But in the real one, we will have a servlet config. I will show you uh, later uh, after all the all this part is done. Okay. So now let's go to our code and uh, write the uh, init method and uh, uh, call after the instance of the server is, is being created, trying to mimic the, the oh, sorry, sorry, the flow of the life cycle of the servlets. Okay, so the second step. Okay, now let's go back. Let me put here. And go to our IntelliJ. Okay. Oh, my IntelliJ opened on this this side. Simple sublet. Okay. Okay. I think we, we guys you guys can see right. Everything is good. So now let's continue. So let's take a look at our HTTP sublet. This is our. Um, uh, abstract class, okay, and here I already have the init method, which is uh, in the HTTP servlet provide the default implementation, okay, and now on we are trying to overwrite in our servlet, right? Because everything in the container is part of the API or Tomcat, okay, and this is the real code we want to uh, we wrote in our project. So I will in the hello world, I will override this uh, init method first. So here I will system out something, okay? Uh, 
Hello World Servlet. Let me put it this one here, okay? You need a method called, okay? And I will do the same thing on the sign up to make sure they are being called, okay? And here we are using uh, uh, sign up servlet. Uh, what's the init method being called? Okay, let's use in this one, okay? And now we have to change our container, right? Because the container maintains the life cycle of the servlet. So the container controls when init method is being called, when service method is being called, okay? So we go back to uh, HTTP servlet. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, web container, okay? So, and uh, this uh, init method is being called after the instance should be created, right? So here is uh, when the instance of each servlet is being created. And here we will do something which is uh, uh, different now, okay? And uh, here we, we have to change a little bit which is here we were using HTTP servlet because generic uh, servlet equals this one, right? Yeah. Hey. Control, oh no, window X. I'm still not familiar. And my hands, normally it's like this way. Now you have to do like this way. So it's weird when using the Mac, the, the, the keyboard. Uh, HTTP servlet, servlet. Do you understand me? Now, now, now. When the the command is here and the, the uh, S or, or X is here like this way. Normally, it's like this way. This this is more comfortable. This is the this is not 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 comfortable. And now we can call servlet that init. And now we put the servlet here. And we are done. This one is easy. Uh, we didn't have pass the server config. Normally, you have to pass the server config. What you can try to do is do similar thing like the properties file if you really want to implement. I, I just uh, don't want to do now. <laughs> so now let's run and see if everything works. Okay, everything works means uh, uh, when the when we start an application you will automatically see this init method and this init method that should be in code. Okay, run it. Mm? Good, right? See here. Uh, so sign up and uh, this part, hello world, see here. Before they are ready, you can see these two. Sign up servlet init method hello outward servlet init method being called, and this is the second step we have done here. Okay, so that's it for this video. This video is kind of short and simple. Okay, and the next video we will start uh, processing the request and uh, let on like a response and uh, all other things. Okay, thank you and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.